Last week, NVIDIA announced Nemotron 4. It turns out that this was the model we were all wondering about, but it appeared in stealth mode for benchmarking purposes under the alias of June Chatbot. By whatever mysterious code name, it was clear to the AI community that this was going to be something very powerful. It turns out that Nemotron 4 is a big deal on several counts. First, it's a massive model. 340B, of course, stands for 340 billion parameters. And that's significantly bigger than any other open source model I'm aware of. It was built on 9 trillion tokens. Naturally, the base model was trained on DGX 100 nodes, 768 of them, with each node consisting of eight H100s. That's about $350 million worth of hardware, by the way. And the final result has very impressive performance on a wide range of metrics, as you can see here. And it supports more than 50 languages and 40 programming languages. And it's currently in first position overall on RewardBench. And you can already download the model now on Hugging Face. But the big deal is that Nematron 4 is designed to generate synthetic data for training new large language models, like the ones you or I might want to build, for example. That opens up many new opportunities. Until now, most big models and APIs had clauses in the user agreements that explicitly forbid using the data they generate for creating a new model of our own, because that new model might then compete with the source model. Uh -oh. But that just changed. And that's why this announcement is a big deal. The NVIDIA Open Model License lets us create synthetic data at scale for free and use that data to build a model that we charge others to use. Here's the key language. Models are commercially usable. You are free to create and distribute derivative models. NVIDIA does not claim ownership to any outputs generated using the models or derivative models. By the way, it's now clear that synthetically generated data is the future of AI. Not only is it far less expensive to obtain and far less complicated to use from a legal standpoint, it also works better. In fact, more than 98% of the data that was used to train the instruct model of Nemotron 4 itself was synthetically generated. We also know from the announcement that the new models are sized to work on a single DGX H100 with eight GPUs, if they're deployed in FP8 precision. But training can be scaled up to thousands of GPUs if desired. And of course, the models work with NVIDIA NEMO, which is an open source framework for end-to-end -end model training, starting with synthetic data generation and data curation, right through to customization, model tuning, and final evaluation, all of which is described in this report. It's an interesting document. For example, the authors found that too much focus on a single metric like MT Bench, for example, had a tendency to degrade performance on other metrics, which sounds very plausible, like 
the classic trade-off between precision and recall. And so the team successfully addressed that issue by adding a new weighted loss metric to their pipeline, which is how they were able to get into first or second place ranking across a wide range of metrics. I'll leave a link to that article for you in the comments. Three models were released last week, base, instruct, and reward. Here's what they do. Base is the model that serves as a foundation and it can be customized extensively. Instruct is the model that creates the synthetic data. In the context of a chatbot, for example, an instruct model would typically generate replies to user prompts as part of the fine tuning process. But the model can alternate successively between the assistant role and a user role, creating data on both sides. Finally, the reward model is the one that filters all of this for the highest quality responses, and it maps the final layer of the base model into five dimensions that measure helpfulness, correctness, coherence, complexity, and verbosity. And as we saw, this model is currently in first place on the reward bench leaderboard. About those five dimensions, you may have heard of LLM as a judge. That approach to model tuning uses a high quality LLM to judge between two responses and it rates them. So we can determine which one is better at scale. An emerging alternative is reward model as a judge. And very recent research indicates that reward model as a judge has better accuracy, especially if the options being considered are hard to distinguish. Now, at this point, you might wonder, what's the catch? Why is all of this free? Free use of the software, free to download, no charge for tokens, free use of the result. Almost certainly now the strongest model in the market for generating synthetic data and without any licensing restrictions, including commercial use for free. And you might have already figured out the answer as well. Unlike OpenAI and others, NVIDIA is not fundamentally a software company. They primarily create software in order to sell their GPUs and will need lots of those GPUs to run these models. Here's a funny post on Reddit. I've got Nemotron 4 running on my nitrogen-cooled MacBook Pro Ultra Mega Gluteus Maximus, and I must say it runs like a dream. <coughs> and here's a similar post on GitHub. I'm tempted to buy a new Mac. <coughs> Needless to say, we have no hope whatsoever of running these models on a laptop. We clearly need a DGX machine with at least eight H100s to run this locally. More likely, you'll probably access this pipeline on DGX Cloud, or on Google Cloud, or AWS, or Azure. That way, you'll have secure access to the full ecosystem of your choice, plus the ability to quickly scale up and down. In other words, this software is not targeted at college students. But if you have an enterprise grade project you're planning to launch in the coming months, then this is certainly a very strong option to consider for doing that. And that strikes a high note for our synthetic data. Meanwhile, Thanks for watching and see you next time.
Please, 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 please